I used to go to the canals and I would sit at the cafe and at least one person would talk to me. And it felt like a really strong sense of community. I grew up in Santa Barbara, California. And as a kid, we had fire days often and ash would be raining down from the sky. And I vividly remember leaving school one day and looking up at the mountains and seeing a wall of fire coming down closer to the town. Feeling the dread that there is this event that is happening that is only becoming worse by climate change. Almost immediately you feel it and you feel a sense of urgency that did not exist before. What I need to do and what I hope other people begin to do is focus a lot more on how their decisions, their everyday life choices are going to impact the world forever. What I want to do for the next 12 years is focus every day on how I can do my part in mitigating climate change. I used to want to be the president of the United States because I thought that that was the most effective way to make change. And when I wanted to be president, I wasn't focused on climate change or environmentalism, but it seemed policy was an easy way to implement large scale shifts. What I realized instead was that I think consumerism and big companies are the best way to make change. At the moment, um, I'm working on starting a company called Black to Gray with Halotex. I got involved with Halotex through Minerva, and they're based in Barcelona. We run these campaigns where we collect all sorts of garments, and right now we're focusing on black. And then once you collect all of these black garments, you can recycle them, shred them, get the fibers, and then mix them with organic cotton. And when you don't dye that because you have the black from the old clothing, you're reducing the amount of water that you're using, the waste that dyes create, the harmful chemicals that are released in the water. And instead you have a garment that used to be black and is a very high quality, very sustainable, great garment. I will be moving back to San Francisco with Minerva, but rather than only going with Minerva, the two women that I am founding Black to Gray with will also be moving. I think going back to San Francisco, where I'm going back to somewhere to see what was the progress that I made. I'm really excited to see how these two phases of my life, instead of Minerva ending abruptly, I think they're going to mesh into each other and provide a really stable transition for me.